Hi, I'm Dr. Javen Moore. Today I'm going to be talking about Ehrlichia. Ehrlichia is a common co-infection of Lyme. So it is so common that in a study of 3,000, 14.5% of those patients found that they also had Ehrlichia. Ehrlichia can be causing a lot of symptoms. It can cause patients to be hospitalized. So it is a very dangerous bacterial infection. It is found most commonly in the Lone Star Tick and it is transferred from the tick into a person at a fairly rapid pace. So it is something that it easily transfers in. Ehrlichia can be found to be damaging the lymph, decreasing the white blood cell count. It can also get into the bone marrow. So Ehrlichia is very invasive. A couple of other facts is it stops cellular death of your cells to allow itself to continue to reproduce and protect itself. And it likes to use up your cholesterol. So in some tests, you can see the decrease or the change in cholesterol due to Ehrlichia's need for that cholesterol to help support its cell wall. Also, the symptoms that it's going to cause are going to be those flu-like, body ache, muscle pain type symptoms along with headaches. So patients that I've had come in that are dealing with Ehrlichia just hurt all over. They felt awful. It can create some of the worst symptoms, whereas sometimes more your Borrelias and your Babesias are causing more mild symptoms. They can all add up together, but Ehrlichia, Ehrlichia can just flat knock you down. So Ehrlichia is one of those ones where when you have it, you've got to get after it, you've got to get it under control quickly. Otherwise, it can just take away your day-to-day -day lifestyle. Some things that you can see as signs that you might be dealing with Ehrlichia, a low white blood cell count is really commonly seen there. Also, platelets. Platelets are gonna be something that decrease as your bone marrow gets hit by the Ehrlichia, also as your white blood cell count and your blood vessels are being hit, those platelets are gonna go down with it. And it also is going to tax your liver. So those AST and ALT enzymes that are on your liver tests, those are gonna go up too. All right, so what do we do about it? Because that's what everybody really wants to know. What do you do about it? Support the liver absolutely is number one here in the lymph because as Ehrlichia gets in there and is starting to damage the liver is starting to put a lot of weight in your body, creating its, its waste and letting that into the body, causing damage to your white blood cells, causing damage to your red blood cells, the liver needs to be supported. So what do I use for that? I like to use some bioactive carbon minerals. I do some marshmallow extract. I like to use a bit of different types of NAC and glutathione to support the body as we're going through this. Also for the drainage side of things, the lymph side of things, I'm going to be talking about We've got to do some castor oil packs, some coffee enema, just because those are going to get the body flushing out to allow for the liver to keep up with the system as far as keep up with the detoxing process. So those are a few pieces that I use with Ehrlichia. The next thing we're going to be doing is Rickettsia, but as this video has already gone three minutes, I'm going to cut it and then we're going to do the next one. So if this information has helped you, please share this out. Get the information out to people because Ehrlichia is a common infection. I've seen it in PANS patients, I've seen it in autistic patients, I've seen it with autoimmune and chronic fatigue. These are all types of people that can be dealing with Ehrlichia, especially those fibro patients. So make sure your friends know if they've got those symptoms. Thanks for sharing.